So here's your voice. In this video, we have our PBO2 electrode. Now I was wondering, I don't want to make perchlorates. Fuck that. I'm sick and tired of it. So the next thing we're going to do is I have some sodium perchlorate in ethanol. And I'm just going to put some ordinary water in there. And I heard in the paper that platinum can oxidize ethanol into acetaldehyde when you run a current through it in the presence of perchloric acid. Now, obviously, I'm going to use sodium perchlorate. It's going to be the same anyway, you know. So, the end of, so in this experiment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this lead dioxide electrode to hopefully see if acetaldehyde is forming. Now, I don't have a test for acetaldehyde, but there is a particular thing that will be made, or it's going to be obvious once it's made, for me at least. I don't know about for you, but at least you can replicate it. Whether or not this acetaldehyde will just end up off-gassing, I'd probably have to stop it right away if it ends up doing that, but let's get to it. So as before, the electrode is running at a good constant current. And given this is a very dilute solution that isn't aqueous, the current density is very low. I might decrease the distance of the electrodes. Yeah, and the current continues to rise as the solution heats up. But I'm not too comfortable of putting 14 watts into this. So let me make a slight adjustment. The electrode seems to be stable without degradation. Because if this was unstable at 12 volts this would start dropping fast but it ain't it's actually rising anyway let me let me do an alteration to this setup before continuing okay so i have uh, put them closer together voltage is stable amps are climbing and i'm only putting 10 watts through here and there is an odor of cherry coming out of this it's like very fruity and the solution is taking on a slight yellow color I'm assuming it's some sort of weird, I don't know. You have an aldehyde and an alcohol in the same solution. Wonder if aldol's happening or something. Anyway, I can smell the acetaldehyde, but only I need a way to prove it somehow with a cheap method because I don't have whatever the hell it is that... I don't have Tolan's reagent. I need that shit. Or I could make benzaldehyde. You know? But yeah, the current is continuing to rise though, so that's what I get for running constant voltage. God damn it. So after adding magnesium sulfate, I had to raise the, the, the volts because the cathode is now caked in some white stuff, which is all good. And the essence of fruit is getting worse. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Now carbon dioxide is another product in this reaction. As you can see the amps are going up because I'm running at constant voltage. You notice that there is a cloudy layer coming in. I think that is magnesium carbonate. Yeah, temperature is going up. The current's going up. The watts are going up. Cell still looks the same. However, I read the paper that this has a high chance of producing acetic acid instead. So I'm either going to get aldehydes or acetic acid or just CO2. I mean, I wouldn't know, but let's see. Okay, guys, this is getting really, really weird. So when I get close to this thing, it starts to smell like really bad cherries. Like... It, I think I'm producing acetaldehyde because this is getting cursed. You know, I might have to run this somewhere else or put it outside because, yeah, it's getting, it's, it's not there yet, but yeah, I can, I, from here I can smell the cherry. I think we're producing mainly acetaldehyde. Maybe I should start cooling it down or something. Anyway, the next thing I'm going to do is probably that. Because, yeah, this is, this is literally, it does not smell like ethyl alcohol, that's for sure. It smells like really strong fruits. I don't know if it's a mixture of acetic acid and ethyl alcohol, or, is, or this is acetaldehyde. I would guess it's the aldehyde.
So it looks like this whole thing works. It the room smells strongly of really bad cherries. I don't know what to do with this end product. Probably think of something. Maybe next time I'm gonna repeat this experiment with a mixture of methanol and ethanol. You know, to make a certain uh, plastic ingredient. And over there, yeah, because the temperature is cooler now, the voltage went up. But, you know, th this, this whole, the whole point of this was to test the electrode to see if it's stable for this kind of work. And it is. So, a new video is going to be about how to prepare this kind of electrode from start to finish. Nothing hidden.